It's ocean stuff, my favorite kind of stuff. Today we're talking about some terrifying, shocking discoveries made in the Atlantic Ocean. Some are dangerous, some are just pretty cool. Starting off our list today, we have the sunken city of Pavlopetri in the southern waters of modern day Greece. The city, which is about 5,000 years old, was lost to the sea sometime between 480 and 650 AD due to a series of massive earthquakes that caused the city to sink down a little over three meters into the water. Rising sea levels took over from there, causing the site to become fully submerged by its discovery in 1967. Pavlopetri is the oldest sunken city, so discovering it and being able to map out 80,000 square meters of its ruins is an incredible feat. During the 90s, the area was mapped by hand, by divers carrying measuring tapes, but in 2009, more productive methods were employed, allowing for a better glimpse at what life in the forgotten city would have been like five 5,000 years ago. Well designed roads, houses, gardens, temples, water management systems, and large buildings all suggest an incredibly advanced civilization. Pretty neat stuff. Next up, we have this strange unknown creature, which was recently discovered in the depths of the Atlantic. It is called the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, although it looks much more like a creature from Men in Black than either a strawberry or a star. There are at least eight species of the creature that live along the depths of sea floors around the world, generally somewhere between 330 to 3,300 feet deep. They come in a range of colors and swim by using their feather-like appendages to propel themselves forwards, backwards, and side to side through the water. These animals, classified as crinoids, are also prehistoric, dominating our waters over 251 million years ago before they suffered a major wipeout. Today, only few are observed trolling the bottom of the ocean floor. Next up, we've got box jellyfish native to warm coastal waters around the world, including of course the waters of the western Atlantic Ocean. They are generally quite small, measuring in at just 0.4 to 11.8 inches in diameter. They are also translucent, making them virtually undetectable in water, which is terrifying because they can kill you pretty easily too. In five minutes this animal can sting you, pain you, kill you, and have your friends and family calling the local morgue. That is because its incredibly potent venom has an incredible knack for sending people into cardiac arrest. While less severe stings won't kill you, they will cause you to experience an intense burning pain that can last up to two hours. That sounds terrible. Next up, we have lionfish, which look beautiful but have been known to cause slow and incredibly painful deaths. It's invasive and annoying, but also edible. Like I said, it can kill you, but some governments will also pay you to interact with them, and by that I mean they will pay you to kill them in an effort to maintain the existing ecosystems of Florida and the Caribbean. Caribbean. Lionfish are native to the Red Sea, but after 25 years of illegal dumping into the Atlantic Ocean, they have cast their net to cover much more oceanic surface area. They eat fish, crab, shrimps, and more, and have led to the extinction of many native plants and animals in the areas they have invaded. And they also have no natural predators. Of course, that's where we come in, but from a distance, because even the slightest touch from one of the lionfish's many feather-like appendages will have you wishing your affairs were in order and you never stop stepped into the water in the first place, and that's because they can kill you, like I said. And even if they don't kill you, for about 8 hours to 30 days, you're probably going to wish you were dead as you go through the various stages of extreme burning, abnormal heart rates, abdominal pain, sweating, and fainting, which I will say again lasts anywhere from 8 hours to 30 days. Hell no. I also mentioned they can be eaten, they can, if they are prepared by a professional in a very specific way, because if it goes wrong, you could die. Next up, we have the Challenger, as in pieces of the Challenger spacecraft that exploded and mostly disintegrated on January 28th of 1986, just 73 seconds after takeoff, ending the lives of all seven astronauts aboard the craft. Well, just two years ago in 2022, pieces of the Challenger were found at the bottom of the Atlantic near the Floridian coast, more than three decades after it was destroyed, likely due to negligence. I mean, it never even received an engineer's stamp of approval before for being launched. While the discovery of the spacecraft is an incredibly historic find, it is also an incredibly tragic one as it forces us to remember that the whole thing could have been avoided if NASA had taken the proper safety precautions prior to the Challenger's launch or listened to the engineers and just decided not to launch the thing altogether. Next up we have the Portuguese Man of War and guys I cannot stress this enough, this thing is not a jellyfish, it's a siphonophore. Oh yeah, also don't touch it because
because it can kill you. The Portuguese man of war is incredibly toxic and its stings can be incredibly lethal if not treated almost immediately. When a person gets stung by one of these animals many 30 foot long tentacles, they right away experience burning sensations and break out into an incredibly painful rash. This is because of the nematocytes contained inside of their tentacles, microscopic capsules fully equipped with barbed tubes that the creature uses to insert its venom into its prey or, if you're unlucky enough, you. While death is pretty much a guarantee for fish and crustaceans, humans have a much better chance of survival. However, many deaths have still occurred as a result of being stung by the animal after the toxins led to either an allergic reaction or a cardiovascular incident aka severe damage to the heart. Not loving that so much. Next up, we've got the sculpin fish, which are often found in the shallow waters of Newfoundland. Hello to my maritimers out there. They're poisonous, alive, or dead. While a little nick from one of this fish's many spines located along their back won't do too much damage unless a person is highly allergic to bee stings or other foreign substances, a deep wound from one of these spines will surely spell trouble. While this animal won't kill you unless, of course, you're allergic or if it punctures your chest or abdomen. It will cause you extreme pain, tingling, and numbness that can last for weeks. Its poison contains cardiac glycosides that can also really damage your heart in the long run, leading a person to live with a higher risk of death due to heart complications. If you ever find yourself fishing in the Maritimes, might I suggest gloves. Next up, we have a polychiate worm, a marine worm that will surely make an appearance in at least one of your guys' nightmares this evening. While they are not deadly, their appearance is disturbing, but luckily they are generally quite small, measuring in at under 10 centimeters, 4 inches. On the flip side, however, they can grow to be 3 meters, which is like 10 feet, so it's a no from me. Like basically, they're either large enough to eat you or small enough to get lost in your bathing suit. It sounds horrific and I want no part in it. They are also found at an incredibly wide range of depths, from the shallow rocky shores all the way down to the abyss. Oh, and they can also bite and sting with detachable spines located along their bodies. The pain is not excruciating, but it's unpleasant, and the spines are not easy to remove. Next up, we have the discovery of an ancient computer. In 1917, while exploring the coast of the Greek island Antikythera, an incredible discovery was made. A 2,000 year old artifact was discovered that soon came to be known as the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient Greek device used to predict the relative positions of the planets and moons in order to pinpoint important astrological events such as solar and lunar eclipses. And the device dates all the way back to 100 BC. This artifact, which many have referred to as the very first analog computer, was found on a shipwreck alongside intact human remains, two rare ocean discoveries considering the importance of the artifact and the intact nature of a two 2000 year old skeleton which should have at this point either completely decomposed or have been carried away by scavengers. I don't know what's going on here, but it's pretty cool. And finally, we've got holes, <laughs> mystery holes found on the Atlantic seabed that have caused scientists to say what? In 2022, while exploring the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration discovered holes in the ridge while using a remote operated vehicle to explore and map out the area. What had originally been an unmanned expedition to learn more about fracture rift zones and the water column quickly turned into a mystery when the organization discovered a line of small holes with little piles of sediment surrounding them, making them appear as though they had been dug by something. While the holes had been seen in the area previously, seeing them again proved to researchers that their existence was more than just coincidental, but their origin remains a mystery. So who knows, maybe we'll get a more in-depth video on them later should they turn out to be some kind of alien species. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. If I missed anything, as always, let me know. My name is Hannah Thompson, I've been your host for today. I will see you next time.